Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to say Hyper Rare Charizard Where You At is back. I know, I know, it's been a long time since I've done a Hyper Rare Charizard Where You At, but I promise it is back and it is better than ever. I'm gonna be taking you, the viewer, across my entire city for each and every single episode. If you're new to this and you don't know what this series is, I have been searching for a very, very rare card called the Hyper Rare Charizard card. Worth well over $100. I've opened up hundreds and hundreds of packs and I have yet to pull this card. So, I go to public locations. Most of the time, y'all suggest the public location that you want me to go to next. This time, I have a ton of locations that y'all have suggested from the past and I'm gonna go to them, but I'm gonna make this more of like a experience the outside world. I've done so many Pokemon card openings in my studio, but this is gonna be a chance to where we can have fun and open up cards, not in my studio, at fun locations that I promise you, you are going to love. They're gonna be across not only Dallas, but the entire world. So get ready for this series, Hyper Rare Charizard, where you at? I had to order some new Burning Shadows packs. So I'm here at my parents' house and picking up a box from Amazon. Inside are, well, let's go ahead and open it up and then I'll, I'll show y'all what's on the inside. All right, so I got the box right here. We're gonna go ahead, open it up, and uh, you're, you're gonna like what's on the inside of it, but most importantly, it's uh, gonna allow me to continue doing this series. So, uh, ooh, very, very nice. So we have one Burning Shadows Elite Trainer box. And, uh, oh wait, we have another. So we have two Burning Shadows Elite Trainer Boxes. I got both of these for only $25 off of Amazon. Because I was like, I was gonna order another whole booster box of Burning Shadows. It was like $100 on Amazon. And then I'm seeing these and I'm like, $25? These are usually $40. Granted, Burning Shadows has been out for a while now, but there's still that Charizard card, which a lot of people are still trying to get, including moi. So I got the two Elite Trainer Boxes. We're gonna open one of them today because I need the packs in this one. So there's like eight packs in this one. And uh, we'll, we'll do it outside. Before we head out, we have to uh, say hi to some familiar faces. So uh, where's the first one? Where, oh, what's up? How's it going? Say hi to everybody. Oh, feel better. Everybody say feel better. All right, so who else do we got? Where are you? There she is. Hi, Misty Kitty. Come on out, it's okay. Misty, there she is. Hi, Kitty. That's a good Kitty. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, so uh, the first place where we're going to today is a park, and it is a park where I grew up at. Um, not in the park itself, but when I went to go to the park and play, there's a pool there, there is a country club, there is, I'm now I'm making it sound like it's the fanciest thing ever, it's not. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a playground. I used to go trade Pokemon cards there when I was young. I still remember the exact spot where I uh, trade it for my first Charizard base set holographic card, but enough is enough. We're gonna go there, I'll show you the spots, we're gonna open up some packs. Now this is a park where I did my 9,000 subscriber special at. The video is still on my YouTube channel and uh, it just, it seriously has so much, uh, so much nostalgic value to me that I just, I love going back here and I love doing videos here. So uh, uh, just get ready, we're about to get there. Ah, it's so nice out today. It's actually like only 80 degrees. Usually in Texas at this point, it's 100 degrees. The humidity is about 120%, if that's even possible, because it feels like it is here in Texas. But it is nice out today here at the park. And uh, let's go take a look at some of the spots and uh, open up some of the packs. There it is. The spot where I first traded for a base set Charizard card. There it is right there. 
this spot right over here was the spot. And I know probably plenty of y'all out there have locations, places, hidden spots where either you go to now with your friends or like secret hideouts, or if you were, you know, you're older now like myself and you had them when you were younger, uh, just, I don't know, if y'all can, just comment in the comment section below some of your favorite spots that you used to go to as a kid and like why you went there and like it could be you know if you traded for pokemon cards there or whatever else you know that's what's so cool about life is there's just so many amazing things out there and so i and you know me health and fitness is a huge part of my life boom but i think a great way to incorporate it into this channel even more is by doing videos like these. So that's why I'm so excited about this new series. All right, so we are going to continue walking through this park and uh, try to put, pick like a really good spot to open up some of the packs there. And then I'll continue to walk around and find even better places to open up some of the packs because uh, we really need to pull that Charizard card. When you get the card graded, the card is worth like 300 US dollars. So, but that's not why I wanna pull the card. The reason why I wanna pull the card is because one, it's Charizard, Charizard's really cool. And two, it's Charizard. So I figured this spot underneath this little like canopy or whatever it's called is a great place to start uh, opening up some of the packs in uh, this elite trainer box. So I probably will end up getting a whole Burning Shadows booster box because odds are we are not going to pull the card today. But I'm just, like I've said a thousand times already, I'm so excited to be doing this video again, the Where You At series. So it's very awkward opening this up like this, but here's a little like book that it comes with, it has the card list. I just wanna show y'all, where is this gorgeous card? Where, okay, there it is, yeah, there we go. Say hi to everybody. The Hyper Rare Charizard GX card. That's the only card that I want. We can pull nothing else. If we just pull that card, I will be satisfied. So, we have one pack, two pack, three, four, five, six, seven, and we should have one more pack. So eight packs of Burning Shadows. Just uh, if somebody wants the code out there, there's the code. You're welcome. If you want more codes, follow my Instagram, at leanheart54. Here is the uh, the energy card, so that's something that's pretty cool. I've already shown you the code. There's sleeves that come in the box, so that's very nice. There's also the dividers, and there's this thing. By the way, uh, I did pull a golden Pokemon card the like earlier this week. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it in the eye right over here. That card is worth well over $100, and uh, the video is very entertaining. Like seriously, <gasps> the dice! All of the dice are completely lit. Why did they do that? You can't even see. I'm holding them, and you can't even see it. There's the dice. Pretty cool. They're just black and gray dice, so nothing too special, but. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is probably open up like one or two packs right here, and it'll be a total of eight packs overall for this specific Hyper Rare Charizard Where Are You At video. So let us begin, and uh, if you're also new to the channel, I do something called the Lean Hearts Trademark Patented Guess the Energy Game, where I do a card trick like this, one, two, three, four, put them like this, and we get to guess the energy card that's gonna be shown shortly. I guess Psychic for my first card every single time. Let's see it. That is a metal energy. Now I have to block the sun that's coming through. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do. And hopefully, just hopefully, we can get the Charizard. I, my reaction to pulling the Charizard would be, I, I wouldn't even be able to tell y'all what it would be. It would be incredible. So let's continue with the, uh, with the opening, Tormenting Spray, and the rare, the first rare is Non-Holographic Persian. All right, yeah, this is funny, the sun's shining in through the hole at the top, so I'm gonna open up the second pack, then we'll continue, uh, I'll continue giving y'all the tour of uh, this place. There's the pool right over yonder, so we'll see what's up with that, and uh, 
There is the code card for that one. Guess the energy game four card trick. I'm gonna get, I think it was like a dark energy, so I'm just gonna say dark, but I'll say leaf. It was a dark energy. I accidentally saw it, so here we go. And let's see if we can do any better in this pack. There's the uh, the Duskull, the dabbing Duskull, the Duskull dab, seriously. And keep on going, keep on going, Togedemaru. And the actual rare is Butterfree, non-holographic rare card. So that over there is my old elementary school, Mitchell Elementary. And I've actually done a whole Where You At episode where I opened up cards all around the school. That's actually a really, really great video that I'm like, I'm very happy that I did a video like that just because I was going around the school, I was going around the track over there and it was just very, very nostalgic doing that. I actually think there's school going in session right now. So this is kind of weird doing this here right now because when I did the original video, it was like summer vacation. So uh, I'll find another area, we'll open up some more packs and uh, pull the card. This seems like a nice spot. Ooh, Echo. But this is in the shade, and I'm actually sitting down on a bench and table, which makes it much easier to open packs. So we're gonna open up a couple more packs right over here. And of course, since it is a park, you do this in public locations. That's the whole point of the series. Uh, I'll scream really loud if we pull something very nice. So first up, first up, here is the code card there. Leonhardt's trademark, guess the energy game. I'm going to say fire energy, just a fairy. Hopefully it's not too uh, windy in here so y'all can hear everything going on. And of course, we got uh, plenty of cards to go through. So, Ace of Viper, Lana, Sandcastle. Wait. Continuing through. And hopefully, ooh, I'm seeing something very, very nice. Meowth and an ultra rare for the very, very first card. All right, that is a very, very nice pull. Of course, it's not the Charizard card just yet, uh, but we'll continue opening packs. Moving on to the next spot, I'm gonna take y'all by the pool, you'll get a look at the pool where I used to go to, grab some pizza, trade Pokemon cards with. I think I traded it for like a whole card binder when I was uh, used to go to the pool. I haven't been there for a while, so this is gonna be the first time I've actually looked on the inside in a very long time. How about that random lady, by the way? <laughs> Park's getting more crowded as uh, the day goes on. It'll just make a good theater for when I finally pull the Charizard, right? So. There is the pool. It actually looks a lot nicer and uh, actually it just looks exactly the same. I think there used to be a bunch of tents along this whole path over here. Now it's uh, just that one tent. But, and I think it was like way right over there at that tent over there. Well, I guess that's a little kiddie pool, but underneath that little canopy is where I would do a lot of the tra uh, trading for the different cards and stuff. But. Uh, I guess since it's uh, now school year, they don't have their chairs out and it looks like the pool's been uh, closed for a while. Coming up to this little uh, canopy. Well, I'm calling everything a canopy today, but uh, let's uh, set up shop and open up some packs here. Nice and shady underneath here. So I'm going to continue opening up two more packs. We did get the very nice ultra rare card. And uh, honestly, I was just recording and the lady with the dog just came in. No one else around sat right by me. That was uh, pretty awkward to say the least, but hey, I don't know. All right, guess the energy game. Four cards that I do it wrong, I think I did, but I'll say lightning. All right, metal energy. So let's continue and uh, see what we can pull in this specific pack. Porygon, Charmander, Malamar. Is that a reverse rare? Yes. That is a reverse rare holographic card, and the actual rare is another Malamar. There we go. So we got two Malamars there. We'll go ahead and open up a second pack at this location and see what we can do. There's the code card. Guess the energy game. Burning Shadows pull rates are just 
all over the place. I think this set is actually a very difficult set to get a master set, which means you've collected every single card in the set. So if you in the Heart Squad or anybody else watching has collected every card in Burning Shadows, like kudos to you because that is very, very impressive. But uh, let's get into the second pack. I wanna say uh, Fairy. I was gonna say Fire. You saw, you, I, I did the F sound. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do in this pack. Horsey, Sneasel, the reverse and the rare is a Deancey holographic card. It's actually a very, very nice looking uh, holographic card. I think the purple and pink with the card look beautiful and uh, it's a holographic. Let's go uh, check out this other picnic table over here. It actually looks like, uh, well, I don't know if y'all can see from way over here, but it looks like school just got out. So this is the same table where probably a little over a year ago, I opened up a booster box of Burning Shadows and some Heart Squad members actually recognized me. So I said, hey, why don't you come open up some packs with me? And they did. That video is also still on this channel. Now it's getting a little bit hotter out. We have three packs remaining three packs remaining and I may open up the rest of the packs over at this spot because this spot was the picnic table which yeah it was funny that it was a burning shadows box that we opened up together and I'm forgetting their names but if they still watch this channel because it was over a year ago how y'all doing like come on back out here like one of the things I'd love to do is have like a community meetup day. And I'm not talking about like Pokemon Go meetup, I'm talking about like a Pokemon enthusiast meetup where you can like Pokemon Go, you can like the card game, you can like the video games, just come out to a park, come outside, have fun, and just talk and trade and all about Pokemon because that is one of the things I love about this community and this channel is we're always getting new people or old people that used to collect back into Pokemon, back into the card game, back into Pokemon Go, whatever you are into, as long as it's Pokemon, I'm I'm loving it and so I don't know if I did the card trick or not but we'll go ahead and do it I'm gonna guess leaf energy all right fire once again and uh, ooh all right let's see what we can do with uh, with this pack and hopefully uh, so far the ultra rare holographic pull and I think that was only in five packs so I'm hoping these last three packs present better opportunity for us the reverse holographic and the rare is another Malamar. <laughs> it's like our 20th Malamar today. So it's okay if you're a Malamar fan out there, then uh, congratulations to you. You're really gonna like this Pokemon opening. All right, second pack. I may do the last pack for some last pack magic in a different spot. So we'll see exactly for it, but there is the code card. Guess the energy game. I'm gonna say Psychic again. All right, have you all made your picks? Fighting energy. It's all right. I'm really just hoping to see the glistening uh, of a hyper rare rainbow card at the very back of this pack because I will scream, dabbing Duskull, I will scream if we pull the Charizard. All right, let's see. Ooh, there we go. And Alolan Ninetales is the reverse holographic rare card. And the rare is another. Oh, it, I saw the glistening, I saw the shiningness. A Machamp. G X. It's only appropriate that we got the Machamp right here. So, a very that's two ultra rares in just seven packs. So, uh, we did pull some very very nice stuff so far. A Machamp G X. Hopefully, y'all can get a better look at it right there. And in the sun, these cards look even more beautiful than in the shade. So it's better, and which means I think I may just. Uh, I think I may go ahead and open up this last pack. Actually, I have a better idea. Come with me. Okay, I thought for old time's sake, since, just, since this is Hyper Rare Charizard, where are you at? I did and have done so many Pokemon card openings in this car, in my car. So I'm gonna open up this last Burning Shadows pack. Hopefully, we will get some last pack magic. But then again, we've had great pulls so far. And then I'll scream really loud and run through the field dancing if we pull something very nice. So here's the code card for the last pack. Guess the energy game. I'm going to say Psychic, of course, because it is the last pack. Man, look at that. Oh, my gosh. The sun and, like, the lighting on this card makes it shine so much. You can tell I'm easily entertained by the smallest things, but here we go. All right. 
Can we get some last pack Magic Heart Squad Alolan Ratatat Charmander the reverse? Ooh, a reverse holographic Duskull dab, the dabbing Duskull. And the final rare of this opening is, oh my gosh, I saw the M in the, the type and I thought it was another Malamar and I got really afraid. So, meow stick! At least it's a, it's a non-holographic, I know, but it is not Malamar and I will take that. So, all right, Heart Squad, that is my Hyper Rare Charizard inaugural welcome back episode. I promise you this series is going to be all it can be because I'm gonna be traveling across the entire city. I'm gonna be traveling across the entire world. It is going to be such an exciting experience. And if you're new, I hope y'all come and join me on this experience together because I'm just excited about it. So thank y'all so much for watching. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, And as always, I will see y'all in the next video.